I'm going to showcase how I set up my Viper Throttle in Falcon BMS. So I've purchased the Thrustmaster Viper Throttle Quadrant System. So far, I like it. I am glad I upgraded from my Warthog that I had before. I did purchase it with my own money, so Thrustmaster didn't send me this. So here's some upfront information of why I purchased the Thrustmaster Viper Throttle Quadrant System. I play B Falcon BMS majority of the time. I play DCS every now and then. But for the majority of the time, I play Falcon BMS. I fly the F-16 exclusively. I don't really have any other modules, so there's no reason for me to get any other throttle system. I've had the Thrustmaster Warthog for about seven years now, and it's done me good all this time. No issues with it at all whatsoever. The only thing that was a little annoying was that the, there's no axes, axes on the throttle. I made a workaround to get around that. I've used some of the, the coolie hats and stuff on the throttle, the, the warthog to use as my axes or buttons to zoom in, zoom out, and raise and lower the elevation of the antenna. Biggest thing is that the, the cursor is on the thumb. It's not my index anymore, so that's a big thing I have to get used to. I did not need to upgrade. My warthog was perfectly fine. I just wanted to upgrade. I had the money and I purchased it and I, I, I like it so far. I have set it up every already, but I'm going to show you how to set it up uh, ju basically just the way I set it up. So first, you need to make sure that you go into the on the website. I'll have the link down below for the support of, of Thrustmaster. You need to download the drivers. You need to download the target software for your for future um, updates and firmware that the throttle will need. So once you once you have the firmware and drivers installed, go ahead and open up Falcon BMS. Well, you need to map everything in key mapping. Do not launch in the actual graphics inter user interface of the Falcon BMS. So you go to key mapping, you can use the, the search option or the filter option. Go to your HOTAS throttle, it makes sense because it's the throttle you got. So make sure you set up everything basically the way that it has on the throttle. Here the throttle is 2.19, throttle quadrant system. This has just about everything on the actual throttle itself. So you've got your comms here, manual range, that is an axis, we'll go over that later. Speed brake, radar cursor, up and down, all that stuff. So once you get all the buttons on the throttle, go ahead and go to Axis Assign. But once you get in the throttle, make sure you move it back and forth a little bit. Make sure it has Axis Z, Viper TQS. Once you get here, I'm at the idle stop now. Go forward to the mill stop. Go over the hump just a little bit, a few millimeters, and then put your afterburner detent right there. You can put it wherever you want, but I have it right here because I think it's better when it comes to actual throw of, of the throttle. Idle detent's not really needed since you have a button for the actual idle cutoff. So I wouldn't do this right here. If it is, it will, it'll give you a, 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 a idle detent, a cutoff right here. Pretty sure it's red. So if you have this anywhere within your normal throw, you'll be turning off your engine in flight and that's not good. Do that, just go ahead and set save. The right, don't worry about the right, there's only one throttle so it'll only map one axis. Rudder, I have all that for my rudder pedals. Trim panel, don't worry about it if you don't have it. Here's the antenna elevation. Once you go into antenna elevation, press axis. The radar antenna elevation, make sure you have the right knob. It's right just above the cursor enable. Go back and forth on it, make sure that it registers. And then put it back in the middle, make sure it's in the middle. Press save. So this is cursor X, this is left and right, side to side. So you, you make it go side to side, it is the side of the the actual button, the cursor button, that does not have the the castle st spots on it. It's actually the, the flat, flatter side. It's the valleys of the button. That's the, the left and right. Press save, go to Y, you go down and up. That is the the raised portion of the, the button to go up and down. Press save, go to range knob. This is the range on top of the throttle that you'd use your, your index finger. Your, your pointing finger to, to maneuver it. So with this, by default, it's backwards. So I pressed invert, and now it's fine. So make sure that zooming in is forward, and zooming out is is backwards. So this movement actually corresponds to the to the actual physical movement. So if you go up on the axis, it'll go up on the elevation, your, your radar. If you go down, it'll go down. And make sure it's in the center, and you're good to go. Press save. The view, if you use it, the FOV is for the increase and decrease FOV button on our uh, slider on the throttle. So if you want to use that, make sure you put it here. 
And once you have it in there, make sure you press invert because it's backwards. So the Thrustmaster Viper does have a idle detent button that sends a, a mapping to BMS. To set that, you go to you put in cut in the filter, or you can find it. So once you put in cut, it's right here. You go, it's go to off. Once you click on it, I will clear it so you can see my button register. I'm going to clear it here. So now it's awaiting inputs. So now your throttle needs to be in the idle position, not in cutoff. Once you have it in the idle position and you have the awaiting inputs, you then pull the trigger on the throttle, bring the throttle back, and it'll register a command. Go ahead and press save. To put the throttle in the idle position to come out of cutoff, you need to take the throttle, make sure that the throttle is out of cutoff at the moment, and make sure it's in idle. After that, click on the on the mapping. I'm going to do this so you can see it. Once it says awaiting inputs, you press this button here. This means that the BMS needs to register a command when a button is released. Go back into cutoff, bring the throttle back, and now it says DX18 release and press save. Press on the dogfight switch. I'm going to clear it here. You go aft on the dogfight switch to register that key. And then you go forward. For the missile mode, you go forward, and then the center button is a little different. There's no actual button for the center, so you have to make it a release command. So you go to this, I'm going to clear this, you press this button here to register a release. You press that, so you go forward to release the missile override, and then you go aft for a release of the dogfight. After that, you're done. Now it'll do everything. So there's center, there's aft, there's center, there's forward. So now you're good. So here's the gear handle. You go to down. There is no button for down. So you need to press the release and go up to tell it that you need to release. Once it's released, that means that your landing gear needs to go down. So this is something that I did. It's not mapped on the throttle. As you can see, it is the RF norm, quiet, and silent switch. I use this as my XMIT switches on my, for my ECM. So the forward position is ECM1, XMIT1. The middle is XMIT 2, and aft is XMIT 3. Something else I've done, I've done the, the mode, the ILS, TAC and NAV switch. I changed that to my lights. So I have the far right ILS slash NAV, that's norm. The form is NAV. AC is TAC and, and then all is ILS TAC and. That's how mine is set. And of course, I map the slap switch as a slap switch right there. It is on top of the, the throttle here. And as for some simulators type buttons, I mapped the Z axis or the pressing of the comm switch. I have that as a pretty screenshot. So I have my up, down, left, and right, and then a actual down depress of the button itself is my pretty, pretty screenshot. If you have any other questions regarding Falcon BMS and how to install your, your Viper throttle, please ask below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and interested in more videos that I make, please like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.